Give me that horizon, mate. This is the Bro 4 Squad Podcast, and we just got done viewing Pirates of the Caribbean 5, Dead Man Tell No Tales. So, get some Long John Silvers, open up a bottle of Sailor Jerry's rum, because here comes our review. I'm Matt Geiger, and let's go down to the prison where they are keeping our scientist, or witch, as he would have been known back in those days, Sir Brian Banner. Banner, you just got done viewing it. How fucking big is your boner? Arg, it's bigger than the Dutchman can hold. <laughs> and of course you know we grade all movies on five criteria, the first being acting and cast. Banner, you're our biggest Pirates fan. I'm a pretty big Pirates fan, but you're bigger than me, so go ahead and kick it off with the acting and cast. I... This might be Sir Jack Sparrow's best preferred... I can't do this. This bird is digging into my shoulder so bad. <laughs> Uh, I, the I thought up. this is the best version of Jack Sparrow Johnny Depp has given us so far. Wow. He's he's down in the dumps. Um, he's, he's down on his luck. He's This is not a Jack Sparrow with his confidence. He's always kind of had his confidence, and at the beginning of this, he doesn't. Um, and I thought that was really cool, him coming back. And I thought the actor... Uh, I've had too much rum tonight, so I, I don't know his name. But the actor that played Henry Turner... Britain to waits. I looked it Thank up you. before. I, I'm probably didn't get his last name right, but it's Britton to Waits to Watts, something like that. He did fantastic. I he was though. Fantastic. fantastic. Thank you for leaving me uh, the cherry on top. I, I will disagree with you on one thing. The first Pirates I thought was Johnny Depp's best performance, but I did like how basically he is just drunk through about 75% of this movie. So it gave us a different. It was a character development for sure. Dude, Javier Bardem steals the fucking show in this. He is so fucking scary. Fantastic. Like, whenever we do best scene, I just want to pick every time he says Sparrow. Like, every time yeah. he says it, it was just, like, so badass and stuff. He is fantastic in this, steals the show. And every review I read before going into this, non-spoilers, they said that he is basically the shining jewel of this. And he is. Depp is fantastic and everything. But Javier Bardem, man... If you're not sure about going to this, just go and see him. So moving on to story. Go ahead and take it with story. It, this is why we go and see Pirates movies. Um, I thought after Stranger Tides, they kind of got a little um, off the trail. Yeah, so definitely off off the rails for sure. Yeah, they they brought it back with this one. Is awesome. Are we doing spoilers with this? Yeah, we're spoiling it. We're spoiling the show. The spoilers, spoilers. This is when they go... I totally bought the love story between um, Turner and uh, is there a Kiera? Yeah, Kara, Kiera. Yeah, Barbosa's daughter, which I thought was kind of cool how they did that as well. About halfway through the movie, I figured that one out. But I totally bought their love story, and it's kind of the opposite of what um, Will and Elizabeth was in the first trilogy. They started off as straight arrows and kind of went the opposite to be pirates. They kind of started off as pirates and came back to be straight arrows. Totally bought it, and I loved it. Like we talked about on our uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Curse of the Black Pearl review, which you guys should check out, I'm a big history buff, so I love that every Pirates movie is actually somewhat true to history, you know, with Blackbeard, and now we got the um, Poseidon's Trident that they're trying to get to rule the sea. I dig that. Dude, this is Vintage Pirates, just because everyone has an agenda, and they all cross at some point, and they're all trying to get to the same outcome. And that's what happened in the first Pirates. You had, like, five people. They're all trying to do something, so they're using one person, being friends with the other. And this Pirates is no different. I think they got back to their roots, for sure. If you like the first Pirates, you will like this one. I understand someone that... I, I like the second one. I was shaky on the third, hated the fourth. I think a lot of people are like that. If you like the first one, forget everything else. Go see this one. It's fantastic. So let's go right into best scene. Um, I'll, let's tag team this, because I think... Dude, anyone that sees this, I think you're going to have one best scene. And it's not even in the movie. It's a throwback scene, a flashback scene done to the T. And it's basically Javier Bardem. You see it a little bit in the trailer whenever he's not a ghost yet. And the reason why he's hunting down pirates. And you have a young, like, Frankie and Johnny 
Jack Sparrow like Johnny Depp, dude. Like Edward Scissorhands from 1992, Johnny Depp looking character. And he just is as brash and cocky as he can be. And he makes Javier Bardem go into the triangle of death or whatever the it's devil's called. Triangle. Yeah, the devil's triangle. And then he just fucking pulls a Yui. And then the Black Pearl goes another way and the ship just has to go in. And that's where Bardem basically dies and that gets his agenda throughout the whole movie you can take it from i there. love i love also in that flashback scene you see how he gets the uh compass which yeah. is such, like, such a integral part in the entire yeah. uh, franchise you actually see how he gets that um and i thought that was really really cool how they were able to uh incorporate that in to to that scene um it was it was great Another honorable mention, I know you were talking about, about the bank robbing scene, which is one of the first scenes, and honestly, the Paul McCartney cameo I thoroughly enjoyed as a classic rock fan. He was fantastic, and if you guys think these movies are on a, a stutter or going downhill, dude, there's a lot of celebrities. Last one had Keith Richards from Rolling Stones. This one has Paul McCartney that are still game for doing these movies, man. He is fantastic. All right, impacts on pop culture. What do you think? I think it's big. I think it brought this franchise uh, back to the forefront. It's going to make people remember what we fell in love with in 2003, um, just the whole Pirates franchise. I see them um, making, obviously, at least one more, uh, if not going and doing another three or four, as long as they can keep this momentum going. Right, and we're not gonna we're gonna spoil it for you guys. We already have on a lot of the stuff, but there is an after credit scene. I don't want to say anything about it. Just wait and uh, and watch, and it's kind of up for interpretation a little bit, I guess. But the thing I wrote, man, Pirates is back for sure. Um, there's some movies, you know, like I guess X Men Apocalypse and Fast and the Furious, where I'm like, man, I hope there's not an after credit scene. I hope they just end it. This one, I was like, I hope there's an after credit scene. I want to see more of this. This is fantastic. They finally got back to the roots. I read a Rolling Stone article before I went into it that gave this movie one out of five stars. Rolling Stone should stick to music, man, because I don't think they know what they're talking about. This movie was fun. It's a summer blockbuster. It's on the ocean. It's pirates. There's, It's pretty dark. It's the darkest pirates movie I think we've seen in a while. There's a lot of killing, but there's also you know a lot of Jack Sparrow, Johnny Depp humor in it as well. Rewatchability. There's a good chance I'm going to go see it again uh, this Memorial Day weekend. Um, definitely going to buy it. Definitely going to gonna watch it multiple times. I don't know if it's going to be my new drunk movie, but it'll <laughs> definitely be in the arsenal and in the rotation of movies that I watch uh, regularly. So if you guys have seen the movie, you'll get this reference. If not, still listen to us, but then come back and listen to this. But as close as the blade got to Captain Jack's throat on that one scene yep. is as close as this movie gets to rewatchability for me as the first Pirates. The first Pirates for me is a top 10 fun movie for me to watch. I probably watch it six to 10 times a year. This movie is just as close. I will watch this movie probably five to eight times a year, whenever it comes out on DVD. It's fantastic. It's fun. It has everything. I, I love the ending. Orlando Bloom's in it at the first and at the end. Thank God, like we said, we we're going to spoil it. Kara Knightley shows up. She's Finally. fantastic in this. And I hope that she's in the next one, too. And I hope that Bloom's in more of it, too. I was never an Orlando Bloom fan until he kind of got away from Hollywood. And I saw everyone else coming into Hollywood. I'm like, okay, man. He was Paris, Lord of the Rings. He's okay, and now when he's coming back to these movies, he's fantastic. He needs to be back in these, and so is Karen Knightley. 100%. Was there a second where you didn't think she was going to be in the movie? Uh, I thought she was in the trailer, but actually um, his son's love interest looks a lot like her. A lot like her. So uh, they did really well casting with that, and I, I didn't really know. But at the ending, whenever he saw his son, I didn't think she was going to be in it. And then he kind of looked in the horizon. I'm like, no way. And you see her like walking up and stuff. And th that was probably my, an awesome my, theater my, experience. My theater we went opening night. So like people started clapping and stuff. That was awesome. Yeah, that was my theater went crazy then. All right, guys. We're the bro Four squad Check us out, bro 4 squadcom We're on Twitter at bro 4 squad We're also on iTunes and YouTube. That's where you listen to us. And please don't forget to subscribe. And check us out on Facebook, Bro Four Squad Podcast. That's all four words. Till next time for a movie review, movie commentary, or whatever the hell we want to do next. We'll check you later. Arrgh.